One community. Craft hockey will brought a community together. One goal. Neighbor helping neighbor. One passion. It's brought out the best in everybody. A passion for the game of hockey. It's a way of life. A commitment to being the very best. This is our future, and this is going to inspire our youth. Bring it home. Your community could be the next Craft Hockeyville. Be prepared for the ride of your life. It's never been easier to nominate your city or town. Next time, it could be you. Craft Hockeyville. Bring it home. Field goals all day. Assistant coach Carson Shields likes to chirp and encourage. How is uh, how your exams go? Good or what? I see it as more of a friendship than a player and a coach, because that's that's the kind of guy he is. For them, maybe friendship. For him, therapy. It was a really big step, right? Because I'm now returning to it's almost like the scene of the crime. Hockey is a rough sport. But it's what happened to Shields off the ice that destroyed him. When he was a rookie player living away from home, he was hazed. The anger and shame flung him into a life of addiction and crime. Now as a coach, he's come full circle, but the 25-year-old worries hazing still happens. I see them going through that in my own head. That's my new nightmare. In 2009, hazing allegations rocked the Winnipeg private school. Four students were arrested for assault. After allegations, a younger student was sodomized with a walking stick. Then in 2011, hazing sidelined the Nipawa Natives Manitoba Junior Hockey Team. Sixteen players were suspended and the team was fined. And it's not just hockey. Higher up, higher up, over shoulders, over shoulders. This video shows a Manitoba basketball team taping a rookie to a chair at a tournament in Nova Scotia. Well, he's pushing it. Some players now under Shields' watch know hazing is unacceptable. It's kind of passed down through generation. If it's happened to them, they're going to do the same thing to the, to the guys. And I think a, a story like Carson's can you know, give guys an eye-opening as to what's, what's funny and what's awful. You're still hurting. Eh? You went out with the Shields wants there. Hockey Canada to beef up its anti-hazing message and add a hazing helpline with a recovered victim on its staff. There's kids that are out there that are still going through this type of stuff that, that I went through and worse. Um, and I love the game. Hockey Canada's Speak Out program is aimed at things like hazing. Officials say it's already linked to the kids' help phone, but isn't ruling out Shields' idea. We would have to really look at the, at the logistics around that and, and uh, where that phone, th that line would go, who would maintain it, uh, who would answer the calls. Hockey Canada also recently launched an online tutorial for coaches and parents to crack down on hazing ahead of time. When a coach is strict and say, no hazing, not here, not on my team, um, it, it actually works, the hazing stops. Guys, let's watch that. Making a coach with no tolerance for hazing all the more valuable. After a rare win for his struggling Winnipeg team, Shields exposes how valuable these players have been in his recovery. The fact that you guys, uh, with your words and your emails and everything like that, um, I, got, I got a team back. Hey, we're a team right to the end, boys. Team right to the end. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He found a team. That boy, nice shift. And a cause to keep him going. Chris Glover, CBC News, Winnipeg. We're working on the boards there.